did somebody die? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for January 18, 2021, according to St. Luke. Some Sadducees, those who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question. Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife with no children, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers, the first married and died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and so in the same way all seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will, it, will be the woman for the seven had married her? Jesus said to them, Those who belong to this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy of a place in that age and in the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. In they, indeed, they cannot die any more because they are like angels and are children of God, being children of the resurrection. And the fact that the dead are raised, Moses himself showed in the story about the bush, where he speaks of the Lord as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God not of the dead, but of the living, for, for, for he, to him all of them are alive. Then some of the scribes answered, Teacher, you have spoken well, for they no longer dare to ask him another question. Then he said to them, How can they say that the Messiah is David's son? For David himself says in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies your footstool. David thus calls him Lord, so how can he be his son? Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. Quite indeed, there are these heretics, the Arians, that say, that deny the divinity of Christ. They are the Evangelicals now. They deny the divinity of Christ. And there is a tendency within the Roman corporation also to accept the possibility that Christ is the flesh son of Joseph and Mary, which is a heresy. Of course, all of them are, her are, her are heretics. But the question remains, how can David call, apparently, his son, and he, the Lord, even calls himself the son of David? How can David call him Lord? The Lord. You don't call your, your son my Lord. You don't. Because Hokirios in Greek means God. What's, what's happening? Well, we know that by the tenderness and mercy of God, the co eternal Son, along with the Father and the Holy Spirit, incarnated himself in the very holy womb of the Holy Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary. And that is when he is born. So the title of the Theotokos, Theotokos, means the one that gave birth to God is the highest title for her. And there is nowhere, no one in all, the whole creation that has a title as a creature such as that. So it is God who is telling us. Today I would like to to address all of you who have lost in the past and that still hurts inside the loss of a loved one. Whether it was your father or your mother, whether they were elderly or younger, whether it was your brother or your sister or your friend or your spouse, whether it was your son, your daughter, your grandson, even if it was an little child or even an unborn child. The great suffering that comes along the loss of, of a loved one is, is tremendous. But 
when we are aware that all of us are alive before God, then we must start asking, how can that be? Where are they? And the where is very important. Because even if one of us has lived despicably and deserves to go to hell, if he has someone that loved him or that loved her and starts praying in earnest for him or for her and starts fasting and starts um, doing alms on behalf of the person in particular, he could save them. He could save them. That is the truth. Before we are in the final judgment. And the final judgment is not as these um, foolish people affirm that it happens right after you have died. No. The final judgment will happen once for everyone. Of course, the ones that have been deemed worthy to enter into the eternal life, who have been like martyrs, confessors, and stuff like that, people like that, they already are in heaven. They have already been transformed like angels. But everyone else will be waiting for the great judgment date of Christ. And then there is where we have to pray before we get there to do ourselves the work that we need to save ourselves and to save others. And be comforted, because you will, will see, you will know, you will get to know your own born child. You will see again your grandpa, your mother, again alive and well. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.